How do? It's Phil Lord Touch here, and today I am playing Head Over Heels, which is number five in the Yours Sinclair Top 100. Oh, near number one. I might just stop now and never reveal number one to any of you. No, no, I shan't do that. I'll continue and reveal all that's leading up to number one. Uh, Head Over Heels came out in 1987 from Ocean Software. Uh, from John Rickman, the great John Rickman, Bernie Drummond, the great John, ah, yeah, Bernie Drummond. Now, I share something in common with Bernie Drummond, but I shan't tell you what it is. F. David Forbes, and we've all, sh all stared at F. David Forbes' artwork for many, 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 many hours. And Guy Stevens, who did the music. Uh, now, here's something interesting. John Rickman, who did Batman uh, 3D Adventure, the year before, was it? The year before? Same year? Uh, technically, really, in all honesty, he shouldn't have made this game. Tim and Chris Stamper, when they did Night Law for Ultimate Play the Game, uh, back in 1984, uh, we were then swamped, and I really mean swamped, by 3D isometric games. We had some good ones like Hydra Fool and Suivo's World and Alienate and all that sort of stuff. But then we had some dross as well. I had Molecule Man and I didn't really like Molecule Man. Uh, we also had like the 3D graphic adventure creator as well came out so we could make even more shit. Uh, but then this came along three, nearly four years later. Head over heels. And it is bloody brilliant. Who wanted to play a 3D isometric game three to four years later? Nobody, but everybody did, as soon as they caught sight of it. Uh, now, head over heels, let me quickly explain it. You are a brilliant symbiotic spy called Head and Heels. Uh, you both work together. Head can fly and jump brilliantly. Uh, well, I can't there, as you see, I just fell to my bloody death. Head can fly and jump brilliantly. Uh, and he can move during mid-flight. It's fantastic. He runs crap, though. Runs like he's in jam. Heels, however, has no arms. Uh, don't know how he wipes his ass. Can run amazingly well, but is shit at jumping. They were separated when they were captured by Blacktooth, who is holding numerous worlds and people slave. When you went to help them, you were captured and separated by Blacktooth, the big shit and put in different cells it's your job now there's two jobs you can either come together as one again make your escape or come together as one free the slaves then make your escape the game recommends for newbies like myself right now probably i'm not really a newbie to make your escape now i did have this game when it originally came out though for the life of me i can't remember if i bloody completed it Positive I did. May have cheated, but positive I completed it. It's fantastic. This game is super fast. Sod all lag that I've observed, even now. It's an amazing 3D isometric game. Puzzles are there. Jumps are there. There's annoying little ditty tunes all over the place. You cannot go wrong with Head Over Heels. When I didn't spot it, Leading up to here, I was getting a bit panicky. I thought we were only having Night Law as a 3D isometric game. I thought that's all we were be give, being given by the Your Sinclair reviewers. But now it's here at number five. Here is my sigh of relief. Ah. Head Over Heels has arrived and I am so happy. So very, very happy. This game is excellent. This game is brilliant as a matter of fact. And people need to play this if they haven't played it before. And if you have played it, but not played it for a fair few decades, because it's coming up to 30 years old, you need to load it up and play it now. Because I said so. Phil said play it. You have to bloody play it. So go on, go and play it now. But I'm going now. So TTFN, go and play Head Over Heels. Cheerio and bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Pull that up.